Hello, and welcome. Today I bring you a blast from the past. That's right, that's me, looking terrified. The one who watches, aka the milkman, as I like to call him. Today we will be experiencing the updated version of the milkman, and we're gonna see if we can conquer our fears together. All right, perfect. Now I have FTB Ultimine, which is something I, I'm very consistent at forgetting in my, uh, my worlds. As some of you may know, um, recently, I haven't had the best luck with um, horror mods in general, right? They just haven't, they've just been very, very, how do you say, uneventful <laughs> in a word. And so, you know, oh, that's great. Love fall damage. Obviously, my expectations are somewhere between low and even lower than that. So um, we're trying to be optimistic. This is not a good biome to be in, huh? Because I can fall into the snow, right? Let's get out of this biome. run in to or encounter the one who watches we're not by any means <laughs> rushing him to show up okay i'm gonna play this as if you guys aren't even watching me okay we're just gonna have a chill relaxed video today um i don't know why i made that don't don't ever make a wooden sword it's just it's just a waste of resources just a total waste of resources i will hack some more trees though nicely done so no real goals today we are just simply coexisting with the one who watches. I'm really hoping I get a little bit of time before he, he starts showing up unannounced. That's an ideal scenario for me. I gotta go find some stone. Let's go down a little bit lower. As we go down, we will harvest some more wood. Nicely done. Also have the sanity mod on, as you can see down in the bottom left. I don't usually play with it uh, simply because I don't need to be any more anxious than I already am by adding entities in. I have auto jump on, that's gonna drive me insane. Auto jump off, nice. All right, so obviously, same thing you've heard a million times, we need to build a shelter. So that's gonna be on the list of to-dos. And just to survive, not a series, more like a, uh, a Netflix mini-series, if you will. Is there anything I can use here? I'm gonna kill this chicken. Or the chicken's gonna cross me up. I'm gonna look silly trying to smack a simple chicken. We're off to a fantastic start. Feeling very confident. Oh, look, very nice. Got some stone here. Turn the music, the in-game music, com completely down to low because honestly who needs it right it's gonna ruin the ambiance i don't need peaceful relaxing nap time music playing while i'm being watched that's not fun i right, picked that up my sanity already going down i don't know what type of things make sanity go down or up which is why i don't usually use the mod because i don't know anything about it i do know that once things get dicey it likes to instigate if you will so think of the sanity mod or at least the way I think of it is like a little a younger sibling am I speaking from existence maybe that younger sibling who's just instigating right there's there might be an argument taking place that he wasn't even a part of and somehow he finds himself or she finds them she finds herself totally invested in something they weren't even a part of <laughs> uh, this is a terrible example no it's not I'm cooking you know that younger sibling you, you know that younger sibling. You might be that younger sibling. If it wasn't obvious already, I'm referring to myself because I was that younger sibling who was just instigating for no good reason. Like, brother, mind your business. You said as an adult, has it gone away or gotten better? Uh, no. Baby sheep don't drop wool, do they? That's unfortunate. I need just one more sheep. I'm gonna take your, your mutton either way. How do we get sanity to go up? What type of activities make the sanity go up? My sanity just, just just keep on going down. Why would I want you up? It's ridiculous. <laughs> so funny story. Welcome to story time. You see this chair right here? You see this little corner bit? Yeah. So my cats chewed that up. Um, was I angry? Of course. I was, <laughs> bro, I was so ticked off. I, 
I paced myself in the house for at least five minutes, just trying to figure out, just trying to figure out how I want to go about, you know, disciplining these cats. And I probably shouldn't even say cats. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't both of them. I know this. I know this for sure. If I'm not going to find another sheep before the night's over, hold on. I'm getting distracted. Because my sanity is changing the, the way this is looking right now. And I don't like it. I just need one more sheepy. I was going to allow myself to sleep three nights to start. Look at my, look at the perspective of everything. How do I get my sanity up? Do I got to eat? Here's, here's what I'm going to do for tonight. I'm going to go in here. Yep. Just clear this out. Boom. Nicely done. Oh, look, there's coal. Grab that J coal. Nice. There we go. Let's make some torches. Just a few torches. Was that me? What does that mean? What do you mean? Was that me? See, we, we already don't like the things that we're experiencing with this uh, sanity mod. What the heck was that noise? Did you hear that? This sanity mod is taking over everything. Put a door on this. Yep, spruce door. If I turn these shaders, shaders are disabled and it still looks crazy. Make some chicken. All right. No, I'm not making chicken because I'm... You guys are so immature. Grow up. Shout out to the ones that didn't assume that. Huh? Man's was growling in my, my, my face. We're all hearing this, right? Like you're not exempt from these sounds that I'm hearing, right? How is eating making my sanity go down? Shouldn't it be making it go up? Someone's behind me. No, nobody's behind us. Oh gosh. Great. Now we gotta stay. We gotta survive the night. Okay, so sleeping and eating good food increases your sanity and killing good mobs decreases your sanity, which we... We did plenty of that. Don't space out. Got it. I'm not going to overreact, okay? You're not even the main character, buddy. We're not even here for you today. I feel like the sanity is making my... Making everything dark. Oh, gosh! Nice. Love it. My torches are doing nothing in this place. All right. Dude, go away. Can they hurt me? Let's see. Oh! Cooked, bro. We're cooked out here. What the heck are these noises? Five, six, seven, eight. Bro, what are these cheerleaders? A little bit of quality control. Had to disable the sanity mod. It was doing a little bit too much for my liking. Um, while trying to keep our sanity, actually. Perhaps I'm not knowledgeable enough to have that in my world. So I'm just going to leave it out for the time being. Feel a little bit safer outside. I mean, honestly, all I have to worry about now is the one who watches. What, just because I'm trapped in this cave doesn't mean I can't have an aesthetic. I'm going to make it look okay, you know? This is going to be our starter home. Maybe night two or night three, I'll build a, a proper house out there. But for now, this is going to be our underground bunker shelter. How we looking? How we looking? Come on, moon, work with me. It's the simple things in Minecraft, you know? That just give you that serotonin. Watching all the blocks in front of you break in a very satisfying manner. The sound of the blocks as, as they break. The little pop as the, the, the crispy pop as the cobblestone goes into your inventory. It's just, it's the finer things, the little things. You said I'm being an extra, okay, got it. Yep. Nice. Take some of these and make some, I'm gonna make some slabs. I ain't gonna have it looking crusty in my, my first house, okay? It's gonna look nice. So two nights. Boom. Torch, torch, torch. All right. And get active. Nice. 
It looks nice in here now. See? Let me move this crafting bench. I'm going to put it in the wall right here. Put that furnace there. Now we don't look raggedy out here, all right? Set as spawn. Should be morning time now. Beautiful. All right, build like a little porch perimeter thingy, my bob. We made it. We survived our first night. Now I think things are probably going to get weird. But the best part about it is that we get to experience this together, okay? Also, you can go experience it for yourself because this time I'm going to link it in the description. That is right. My boy Pixel Coder's been putting in that work, all right? I love how I'm addressing him as my boy. I don't know that man. Yet somehow, I feel so close to him because that was my most viewed video. It was because of his mod. So, shout out to him and his family. I hope your family's doing good. I hope life is treating you well. What the heck? Those beehives are forever catching me off guard. Okay, F mission of today. Find another sheep. Sounds crazy, right? Needs to be a whole mission? Yeah. Have you watched my videos before? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Some sheep have spawned. Well, a sheep has spawned, which is all I need. I'm going to put a bed down. And set my spawn. So far, not much to report. That means nothing. Don't be fooled by the silence and the lack of... Um, the lack of encounters we've had. No, no, no. That's, that's all a part of it. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. That's going to help me sleep at night. With my track record, I'm going to be recording for three hours and I'm never going to encounter the one who watches. No, don't think like that. That's, that's not being optimistic. You'd be surprised. You'd be very surprised. With the way my videos go, this will probably end up being my permanent house. We'll see. We, we will see. It's so nice not to have my sanity going down every five seconds. Love that. Nicely done. Go ahead and eat. Look at me over here worrying about making my house look nice. All right, that's it. This is officially my house. It'll give me something to do. While we wait, I'm just waiting for the inevitable. I'm not going to sit here and try to get invested in the world. There we go. Now I got a nice proper little staircase up to my house. There, I feel a little bit more safe with this fence, even though safety is safety is not guaranteed. Not even a little bit. I'm losing my sanity without having the sanity mod on. What a what a thought. Do something like that. Nice. Put these here. Oh, I need to make that bed, right? Oh my goodness. Look at me. Did all went through all that trouble to get this bed and I haven't even set my spawn here yet. Put a little torch over it. This is definitely giving coffin vibes, not gonna lie. It's like a little cot or something. Alright, respawn point is set. Alright, let's finish this little patio before the sun sets. Welcome to a typical Jacoby video. That is intended to be scary. And it's anything but that. This has been a uh, an ASMR so far. A Minecraft ASMR, if you will. Let's make some fence gates. That's a pretty easy recipe, right? Just do something like that. Should make it match, but... Alright, let's put this down. There we go. Now I feel a little bit safer. Alright, make that attach. Make it make sense. Alright, the one who watches. <laughs> At this rate, buddy, you ain't scaring nothing, I think. What do I think, bro? How did you get it? All right. I'm chilling. I'm living my best life. I am living my best life. Here he goes again. Y'all remember that? Well, the, the, the OGs that, that seen the original uh, One Who Watches video. Remember the whispering? Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm excited, bro. He's officially here. Where is he, though? Where is he, though? I'm guessing he wants us to go out and investigate. My spawn is set, so I, I feel better about that alone. So I'm not going to rush into, like, anything stupid. But I can also feel better about doing so. And 
let's do something like this. I'm over here not even worried about him, bro. Like, I'm just designing my house, so. But that was cute. That was cute. His breath was a little hot, a little hot. I mean, a toothbrush wouldn't hurt you, buddy. I don't know how I wanted this to stay as grass, but we're gonna leave it for now. Yeah, this looks cool. All right, let's go put some stuff away. I got food on me, right? Nice. Get all this crap. I don't. I get two, two sleeps, all right? Don't forget that. Don't forget that I get to sleep twice. But because this guy was whispering in my ear, you know, I couldn't quite make out what he was saying. So let's go confront him and maybe we can get a, a better understanding. Hello, sir. I gave him a nickname a couple months ago. It's almost a year now, but what, what was the nickname that I gave him? The Milkman. That's, that's what I was calling him, bro. So that's what I'm going to call him today. So if Mr. Milkman would like to stand on business, as the kids are saying these days, um, I'm, I'm all game, bro. I believe my dinner's ready, though. I need to probably go step out and eat dinner. We're going to walk around here. This is dumb. This is so dumb. Hello? Even if, you know, he doesn't want to say anything tonight, may, perhaps we can have a, uh, a formal meeting tomorrow. Yep, maybe this is, this, his schedule was just, you know, it was a toss-up. I understand. Things happen. Life happens. Now that's definitely something. We heard that, right? Cracking bones? I'm hearing footsteps that aren't my own. What the heck? He is somewhere close by. Where are you? Milkman? Milkman? Oh no. Run? From what? You haven't given me a reason to run, buddy. I'm safe in here. I took the right precautions. I was ready. Okay. This is what we like. Yes. Yes, Pixel Coder. This intensity right here. Uh-huh. Okay. Don't break don't start breaking stuff around me now. I feel very safe in here. Uh-huh. Oh, these sound of oh! It's too much. It's too much for me, bro. I remember the one thing I complained about in the past was that he was just really loud and he's, his scream would last for too long. Um, his, scre his scream went away. No way, it's already... Nighttime again. Did he make it nighttime? Is that possible? Bro. Bro made it nighttime again. He wasn't satisfied. That's crazy, yo. Okay, that was that was inspirational. Ah, okay. I guess I'm sleeping this night away too. I'm gonna use my my last ability to sleep on this night that this guy fast forwarded to. We need we need objectives. We can't just sit in the house and be scared. All right, I need to go get food. I don't have enough food, and we need to go into a cave. Yes, two things we need to do: food, cave, food, cave. And we're just gonna pretend like. We didn't have that terrifying experience last night. Oh my gosh. Oh, so you're, you're still flexible. Nice. Still flexible. I'm just going to walk this way. Mmm. You should try yoga. You do great. Actually, my boy should try Twister. Look at, look at the way he is moving his feet and his, his back meat. Yeah, bro, Twister would be would be the game for you, bro. You would win every single time. You ever play Twister? You should try it. I really feel like you do great. Get out of here, creeper. You're the least of my concerns. Ah! Okay, um, we're gonna go back to the house. I don't need food. Who needs food? Who needs food? I need shelter. I need my shelter. Bro. Okay. 
Just walk inside. Just close the fences. Sit inside. Hide in this corner. And don't come out. <laughs> Promised myself I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't be a coward. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be a coward. I'm going to face my fears. We are going to go get some food. Let's just go down here. Let's go get some supplies, some food. Let's take out these sheep. Take your mutton. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys are getting clapped up right now and you don't deserve it. But I need your food, man. I'm sorry. Am I though? Am I? I don't know if I am really. He got me good twice. First time, not so much. Second time, I didn't, didn't see that one coming, really. There's a little cave opening down there. Probably going to go down and try to get some resources. Um, I have dinner calling my name. It's got my name on it. And that, I need, I need the food, man. I need that protein. Real life dinner can wait. We're so immersed and locked in into this world that reality? Reality can wait, man. When's the last time you touched grass? It's just a question. You don't, got, you don't got to take it personally. It's just a question, man. And then maybe go find some iron. Take all of my earnings back to the house. Okay. After I'm done eating dinner, back to the recording. We're going to play this until we get every possible new mechanic that the milkman has to offer. I might not be able to get all of them, but I'm going to get a very fair amount. I'll try to get down here safely, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Always build a staircase down. So that you can have a staircase up. Let that be a life lesson too. That was low-key deep. Oh my. It probably would be best for you to just not do that while I'm trying to achieve my goals and my dreams. What about you, milkman? What What do you what do you want to get out of this life, huh? What about you personally? Surely there's something. Other than just making me crap my pants. Look at that. Iron. I'm not afraid, so I'm gonna go in there. Ouch! Let's play fair. Yeah, how's that sunlight taste? What the? How did two of you spawn? Get, no! Don't. Oh my gosh, I fumbled the bag. Oh! Oh! There's a skeleton! No! Oh my gosh. I don't have any. Oh my gosh. How did I get out of there with half a heart? So, yep, not, we're just going to take the one piece of iron I have and call it a day. And then go take the food back to the house. And I'm going to go eat my real life food. That was not a smart play by me. Hello? Hey, the coast is clear. Speaking of clarity, have you taken some time today to give yourself a mental health break? Don't put too much on yourself, all right? Give yourself a break every now and then. You deserve it. You've earned it. You'd be surprised how many people would just simply be like, I needed to hear that, even though I just randomly said it, you know? It's crazy how us human beings are connected in that way. My food's probably room temperature at this point. Thanks a lot. Blaming you is crazy. I'm gaslighting you. I'm sorry. You, you didn't deserve that. Torches down here. Ah, we made it back in one piece. With only one encounter with the milkman in that cave, that was that was delightful. All right, let's let's smelt up some food. Dinner slapped. Not gonna lie, but now I'm back and I had no fries. Perfect. If I see this monster, I'll scare him away until he cries. Perfect. They said I got no bunnies when I crash out the air. Rick Ross said I just might eat pears. I eat pears. Perfect. Truth is, bro, nobody cares. All right, I had some food cooking up. I should have just let it run through. What time of day is it? Should we add some additions to the house? I mean, why not? Like, no, let's not get, let's not get carried away. But I want to create a mine, so I'll leave the door open. I trust it. Hmm, we'll just put it right here. The, what the heck? Is this gravel? Oh my lordy. So much gravel. So we just need to find a little, some, some iron, upgrade our gear before I feel confident in going on the surface again. Maybe that's just a cop out because I'm super, super anxious about going out here. It's definitely a cop out. I do want to go get some water so that I can start a farm up here. But the, in order for me to do that, I need to find more iron. I only have one ingot. Oh, I don't even have one ingot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's melting. All right. 
Very nice. Oh, look at that. Just absolutely splendid. This is perfect. So we will gather this iron and then I will go down to the water. Y'all remember where the water is, right? It's right outside. Very nice. Okay. I can't sleep anymore. Let's go smelt this iron, the rest of it in this furnace. Nicely done. Should the first thing I craft with my iron be an iron bucket? That hardly seems practical. We're not going for practicality though, okay? Think about the scenario we're in, right? They got the milkman out there, ready to do harm against us. I need a shield. Um, need one more piece, just like so. Cool, now I'm gonna make my bucket, like so. Boom, bucket. All right, now we just go get some water. All I need is one bucket of water. All right, I'm gonna leave one of those open so I need to, in case I need to run back in there, I can easily. Yeah, I see you. There's two of them. What? I'll never understand being shielded up and still getting hit. Play some torches, for crying out loud. Perfect. Water right down here, right where I need it. Just grab, grab a bucket of it. Nice. All right, now the easy part. Going right back up. Oh, that's why, because you're supposed to hold that button. Got it. All right. Gotta be better than that. Get out of here. There's a creeper over there, so be advised. Clearly, I'm never... Turn your field of view up. Usually, I have it higher than this. Perfect. Good try, bro. Nice try. That timing on that, that shield, though? Sheesh. Disgusting. All right, so I wanted this just to build a little... A little thingy my bob right here, so... Where's he at? This is just gonna put water right there and then go inside and make a hoe. Oh, there he is. Hello. Have you seen the milkman, bro? There you go, get out of here. I need to light this area up. This is not good. A seed, plant that. Some boots to be exact. All right, well done. We're gonna survive our first night. What the heck? What was that noise? Whenever you hear those feet hit the ground, it's usually the milkman dropping down close to you. I don't see him though. Oh look, bones. You know what we can use that for? Bone meal. And I can, I can use the bone meal to grow my farm. Look at me playing Minecraft. Wow. I mean, come on, bro. Like, this is day one stuff. And there we go. We have three seeds. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I bet you didn't anticipate me having a farm this early. All right, we're just going to do a bit of exploring then. We're just going to go straight this direction and see what we can find. Everything seems cordial. Everything seems normal. Can you think of a time as a kid when you used to climb trees? There's a cow. I'm going to go slaughter that cow ruthlessly. Can you think of a time as a kid when you climbed a tree? Now, let me take you through all the stages of grief you went through climbing that tree. If you were this kid. At least this is my experience. So you climb the tree, right? And at first you're like, wow, I can just keep going. And keep going. And keep going. Until you reach a point where you're like, wow, I have no more tree left. And then you look down and you see the distance between the ground and your person. And you're like, huh. I didn't think that far ahead. And then now, now you have tree anxiety. Now you're up in this tree and you're like, wow, this is great. Um, but can somebody come save me? Now, this is where boys became men because you either, you glide down that tree gracefully or you take a bunch of scratches on the way down. There's no in between, bro. There is no in between. It's one or the other. Me? I took scratches on the way down, bro. Look at me, bro. Like, do I seem like the type to go down to the tree gracefully? No. Not at all. I climbed up one so high one time. I saw these red leaves and I had a friend of mine who was also in the adjacent tree and he was like, eat the red leaves. They're red because they taste like apples. 
Whoever you are, you lied to me. Not because they didn't taste like apples, but because he didn't tell me I was eating poison ivy. Hmm, yeah. So, and to this day, I have trust issues, you know? Moments like that. Why are you freaking out? I didn't even hit you. Does he see something? Come here, nun, you can get it too. That sounds crazy on paper. This is pure gameplay, guys. Pure gameplay, nothing else, man. Stalactite, take some more of this. It's always good. Don't know where this leads, but do any of us know where our life is leading? No, but we just press forward anyway, right? No reason to be fearful or scared. We just trust that the timing will do its thing. Let's get out of here. It's a nice morning out up on the surface. There's no reason for me to be in this deep, dark cave. Well, not deep, but dark. Eat something, bro. You're hungry. I can't complain like I have in the past. Like, oh, he hasn't shown up. No, he's, he's done. He gave me some time to get ready for him, which I respect. And then beyond that, you know, he, he stopped by to say hello. Ah! Dust mites, am I right? What is this? What the heck? Day 43 unknown? Is this a part of the... Everywhere I look, I see his eyes. I am so scared that I am turning pale. <clears throat> Awkward voice crack. There was nothing else over here and I was going to turn back. Well, we uh, we have experienced the same phenomenon. I must say you, you're being a little dramatic as he's he's pretty harmless once you get to know the guy. You know, he doesn't really want to cause you any harm. And you had to watch that. Yeah, I'm glad. Oh, what you said, this is the baby daddy? Nope. Yeah. Daddy pork chop. I was just hoping to maybe see a village. Unless I can find some, some quick iron. That would be great. See, it was worth it. It was worth it. Oh, never mind. All that for one piece of... Oh, freak. I, I'm turned around now. Where did I see this cave at? No! I don't know where to go. It's back this direction. I'm gonna trust this. I don't remember this. Okay. No. Hang on. No. I didn't make too many turns. I went pretty straight for the most part. Oh, this, this doesn't feel right. Alright. Maybe it's through here. Once it's dark, I'm not, there's no way I'm gonna know which way it was. It's quiet now. What's up with the trees? Is that a there's blood? There's blood on the ground. That is is that a sign? It's most definitely a sign. I find my house. I feel like at this point it'd be a miracle. Wait, I recognize that lava. I'm just totally guessing on the direction. I'm not hoping that it's right, but I feel like I remember that lava. No, where's my house? I like the the little touches of detail. It kind of like tells me sort of kind of that he could be nearby like this blood oh gosh check this out watch this trick yep it's lagging where's my house this is awful let's embrace this hang on there's a baby zombie no uh... I'm getting 2v1 no no bro Clapped up by a baby zombie. That is just so embarrassing. And there's no way I can, I'm just not gonna, you know, like I'm just gonna leave that out of the video. Like, no, you get you get to see that. You get to see the highs and the lows, bro. I hear you, you turd bag. But honestly, you're not you're not what I fear anymore. Clearly, I should be worried much more about baby zombies. Let's go retrieve my items. Oh my gosh! The Pilates on the tree is crazy. I don't like the back cracking, bro. I don't like the back cracking. I'm not gonna lie, man. Playing around with fire like this is something. <laughs> oh! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for a hit. Uh! Oh gosh, that was dumb. That was dumb, wasn't it? That was dumb. I can't see. Ah! This is what we want. This is what we want in the horror Minecraft community. Creatures that aren't killing you instantly show up every now and then like a deadbeat father. Not like, what, is that what I think it is? I was close to my stuff, closer to my stuff than I thought. 
This is great. No, no, no. Get back. I was way closer to my, my house than I thought. Okay, this is good. No, no. Just let me get back home with my items. Pixel Coder, I gotta say, man, you've really, you've really outdone yourself. You have done your thing with this mod. It is made to perfection. Uh, I think there's literally no complaints from me. He's just the right amount of creepy. Like, like we addressed earlier, earlier, like, you know, like a deadbeat father. Oh gosh. Usually that's a negative, like a negative context. Why are these skeletons, why do they have the aim of Steph Curry? Oh my gosh, the baby zombie is back. Look at the scratches, what the heck? Look at the scratches on the tree. Oh, did I just juke them all? I just juke them all. No, no, no. Ah! Why is he still pursuing me? Oh gosh, I'm being shot at. Look at that, I made it back. Just in time. What all did I get? I'm hearing extra footsteps. What the? F where? Where? Where the? Where's the Dorito sound coming from this time? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, he's up there on the hill. Okay, he's gone now. We're safe. We're safe. I'm safe. From the zombie, I'm not. Ah! Oh gosh. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. You got me. Only because I didn't expect you to be standing right there. I'm so sick. I'm so sick to my stomach, bro. If you guys know anything about me, you know, skeletons are my least favorite mob in this game. They just... Why? Like, they don't miss. They don't miss! Um, well, we made a shelter. We have encountered the... The one who watches... The milkman. I'm not gonna run from a challenge, a fight. Where's he at? Oh, he's down there. Why are there two of them? One of you has to go. Why can't I hit him? Okay, so that's a fake. That's a decoy. This is the real one. Okay. Hey, bro. Hey, I got something for you. Look. I figured, you know, what, what could the milkman want more than a gift from me? So I'm gonna give you a gift. Here you go. Why are your hands bloody? What have you been up to, sir? Can I interest you in a an all paid for expense? Oh, run or what? Or what? See, now I'm asking the the real questions. Why is the heartbeat? Why is why is the heartbeat? Why is my heart rate doing that? See, because I'm no longer scared of you, milkman. I'm asking the real questions. Oh, there's blood. Did it have a sound effect when I landed in it? Ew, it does. Attention to detail. Good job, Pixel Coder. You did that. You did that, bro. You know, at the moment that heartbeat stops, if he were to just like come out of nowhere, I'd quit the game. This llama is not about that drama. You oh, oh. You need to go to a chiropractor about that. That that doesn't sound good. When your back sounds like a bag of chips. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's cool. Oh. Hey man. Hey, don't scratch my log, bro. You see what you did? You think this is okay? They oh, here we go again. Bro threatens me to run every time. Like, I'm not gonna just run from you. No. You got you got me mixed up with someone else. I don't run. I'm here. What's up, brother? That's not my thing. Not my thing, bro. Okay. How did you get in? Run inside. No! He broke my door? No! What the? All right, so he breaks doors. Got it. Go away. And stop scratching my logs. These are limited edition oak logs. Only the finest quality. I tried to stop recording y'all, I promise. I had to turn it on because he's he's wildin' right now. Look at him. He is wildin'. Sir. Sir. Do you have time to talk about your car's extended warranty, sir? What is this? Visible now. Oh! Did he just possess me? Okay, honestly, I don't want any problems with you, bro. You got it. You're making some really, really weird noises. Oh, gosh. He's over there now. Oh, there goes the tip. Okay, I'm going inside. We're cool, right? Me and you? Me and you? Okay, we're good. Is he done? Are you done? Okay, the hard part's over. 